Keeping Up Appearances was one of the UK's most popular sitcoms in the 1990s that is still very much loved to this day. The BBC show introduced us to an array of memorable and hilarious characters as we followed the lives of the uppity Hyacinth Bouquet and her family, including her husband Richard and tart sister Rose. It was hugely successful not just in the UK but all over the world too, in Canada, Australia and the US, for example. Airing from 1990 until 1995, the series is often considered one of the best British sitcoms of all time. Now, nearly 30 years after it came to an end, The Mirror has taken a look at where the cast are now. Patricia Routlag did Patricia was known for her hilarious role as Hyacinth Bouquet, or Bucket if you wanted to get on her bad side. After the show wrapped up in 1995, she landed a lead role in Hetty Wainthrop Investigates, another BBC series. Before keeping up appearances, Patricia was known for her theatrical talent, even winning Tony and Olivier Awards and appearing on Broadway. Now aged 94, Patricia received honorary membership of the Royal Academy of Music last year and became a dame in 2017. Clive Swift Clive played Patricia's long-suffering husband Richard in the series, often being forced to put up with her crazy antics. Since then, he made an appearance in the Doctor Who Christmas special with Kylie Minogue, the most popular episode of all time. He also toured the UK with his live show Richard Bouquet Overflows and was married to novelist Margaret Drabble until they divorced after 15 years, with three children. His last TV appearance was on Midsummer Murders in 2017. Clive passed away in February 2019 at the age of 82. Jeffrey Hughes Jeffrey took on the role of Hyacinth's slobby brother Onslow, often appearing on screen in a white vest and baseball cap but remaining well-read and educated. He previously played Eddie Yates in Coronation Street, and later starred as Twiggy in the BBC's The Royal Family and played Vernon Scripps in ITV's Heartbeat. The actor died in 2012 from prostate cancer, survived by wife Sue. Shirley Stelfox and Mary Miller Hyacinth's younger sister Rose was described in the show as a tart with a heart due to her extravagant outfits and man-eating nature. Two actresses played this role, first it was Shirley who appeared in the first series before landing a long-running role on Immerdale as Edna Birch. Married twice with a daughter and two stepchildren, the actress passed away in 2015 aged 74. Actress Mary took on the part of Rose for the final four series, with the veteran West End performer returning to theatre afterwards to play Mrs. Putz in Beauty and the Beast. Married with a daughter, the star died in November 1998 from ovarian cancer, aged 62. Judy Cornwell's sister to Hyacinth and Rose, Daisy was always up for romance with husband Onslow who didn't share her feelings. After the show ended, Judy starred as Queenie Trot and also appeared in Birds of a Feather. The 83-year-old also had roles in ITV's Midsummer Murders and Heartbeat and has written several novels. Josephine Tucson Elizabeth Warden found neighbor Hyacinth intimidating, often spilling her coffee in a panic whenever she was invited round. Josephine, who died last year aged 91, had a career spanning 50 years. She was married twice, firstly to actor Leonard Rossiter and latterly to dental surgeon Henry Newman. The actress also starred in LWT's Frost on Sunday alongside Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett and the BBC's The Two Ronnies. 
After the sitcom she played highly strung librarian Miss Davenport in BBC's Last of the Summer Wine and toured the country in her 80s in a one-woman show about her work, still keeping up appearances. David Griffin Elizabeth's brother Emmett was a divorced musician who often stayed over with his sister. He was terrified of her neighbor Hyacinth, who loved to sing at him so she could appear in one of his musical plays. Before keeping up appearances actor David, 80, starred as squadron leader Clive Dempster in Hide a High. And after the show he linked up with actress Sue Pollard again to tour the world in stage show The Good Sex Guy. The star, who is married with two children, has also appeared in several pandos. Newsletter here.